Hey guys, this is Brandy and welcome back to Astro Tarot Research. So today we're going to do a Will We Reconcile reading. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, I'm sorry. I'm just in a busy city here. Anyway, <laughs> right now we have the butterfly. We have for pound number one, the bracelet, pound number two, the cross, pound number three, the earring, pound number four, the charm bracelet, pile number five, the hairpin, pile number six, and the bow ring, I guess, pile number seven. So take your time and pick something to choose, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, pile number one, let's get started. We have the strength card. Ooh, we have the two of pentacles. And we have the lovers. Okay, so it looks like someone is being a little bit stubborn and they're, they're trying to rein in their choices. Okay, ultimately, I think the, the answer is yes, to be honest. The card's yes, and on the strain card here, um, we have the lion and the, I guess, lion, lion, lion tamer. I don't know how else you call her. And she's just hugging and embracing the lion. And then the fact that we have on the other end the lover's card on either side of the pinnacles. So it just looks like it's just a matter of time, really. Because on one hand, the strength card is about endurance, taking your time, um, being patient and understanding. So it's, it's a very slow-moving card. And then the lovers can be quite passionate. So it can be very quick and immediate because it has that... Gemini air sign energy which moves very um very fast almost as fast as fire but um <clears throat> I do believe that you will reconcile it's just going to take um a bit of time to do so as what I'm as what I'm getting here it looks like they're just trying to they're just trying to figure out what's the best way to sort of approach the situation. I think ultimately they're going to decide to take their time a bit just because we have the pinnacles here. So they're just they're just juggling a lot and they could have a lot of things to do with work that they're going through. That they're dealing with work or school or some project or something that they're working on that could be distracting them at the moment. <laughs> Okay, I pulled another card. We have the Two of Wands here. So yeah, that's just about someone um, taking a leadership position, kind of like handling their business. And it's also about decisions. It's also about kind of seeing how things are going to go. Like they're kind of watching, either watching you from afar or they're just thinking about you and thinking about how the, the idea of coming back and how what would that be like, what would be different. Would things be the same, you know, um, et cetera. They're just really thinking things through right now. So we have, like, a bunch of waiting cards here, but the fact that we have, like, the strength, the lovers, et cetera. I have no doubt that this person that you're thinking about will come back to you. Okay, so thank you, pile number one. I'm going to move on. And if you like my reading, please subscribe and like. <laughs> And I try to update as quickly as possible. And don't forget to leave your feedback and let me know what card you choose and what you want to hear next. Sorry, I've got like, my nose is like, allergies guys, allergies. Okay, pile number two, if you chose the bracelet here, we're just going to get started on your reading to see if you guys will reconcile. My nose is like extra stuff today. Like, I don't know what's going on. I, I should go to the doctor about it. It's allergies. Anyway, they're not important. All right, we have the hanged man. We have page of swords. And if you see me flipping it around, because I don't read reversals, I just want to make sure that is known. In case you hear me say that a billion times, if you're not new. And we have the three of swords. Okay. So what I'm getting from this reading is I think it, they're going to reach out and contact you because this person is dealing with a lot of hurt right now. So, it, I mean, they're literally just kind of like hanging in the, in the wind here. They kind of feel like they feel like 
they don't know which direction to turn and they may need some guidance because on the after tarot deck we have someone kind of taking care of the hangman like this person they've made their decision and they're waiting for things to pan out and in the meantime they have this other person kind of what how do I say it nursing their wounds or sort of catering to them in the meantime so it's kind of like they just need to take a moment to themselves like I don't know if this person I don't know if I'm being clear this person is just really I think they're thinking trying to see if they've made the right decision and I don't know this oh god this sorry I just feel like I got like some kind of weird message like I I don't know if this person is seeing other people or if they wanted to see other people and that was the reason for them kind of like things not working out or things aren't just working out or if they're just seeing someone right now I don't know maybe you guys broke up maybe you guys just stopped talking maybe this person ghosted you but it looks like because we have the three of swords here and we have the woman on this card like giving things to this man it, I get the feeling this person may be seeing other people um but they're going to message you now um, about it just because we have the page of swords here and um, it is a communication card, it's a messenger card. So they're just taking their time for the right moment to reach out and they want to talk. What they want to talk about is this, this, this heartache right here, this breakup, this separation, this time away. That So they're going to reach out and they're going to confront you, not, not, maybe not confront, but they want to speak to you about it and the fact that we have that a page of swords can be kind of a bit bratty like immature sometimes so I think they may have a feeling like they may play the victim a little bit or they may not see the whole picture completely I think that's what they're trying to do right now they're just trying to figure out what went wrong or how I can was this the right decision? That's what I'm getting. I'm going to pull another card for you guys because I'm just like, maybe. I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah, I have a feeling they're definitely seeing other people. We got the Nine of Cups here. So they're out kind of just like uh, living their best life, to be honest. Um, I, <laughs> I hope that doesn't sound harsh. But they are kind of like um, enjoying themselves. And it, it could be they're flirting with other people or talking to other people and the fact that we, like I said we have the three of swords here which also is a sign a lot often that there's a third party in the situation um they're just kind of uh thinking things through but in the meantime they're like well why don't I just you know kind of talk to some other people and that'll give me more perspective I think that's what they're looking for they're looking for more perspective on the situation but they will reach out to you it's not clear let me see if you guys will reconcile I think it's just more like there's a lot more than meets the aisle to the eye the eye is what I meant to say <laughs> at the current moment if I had to give you an answer I would say no but like I said it's really it really depends it's just going to depend on how this conversation is going to go so um that's all I have for you, pile number two. Um, looks kind of tough, you know what I mean? I want you guys to check back in with me and see how that, I want to see how that situation pans out. I'm a little bit, that person's perspective seems a little bit, I don't know, strange to me. Like, they just come off, like, I get such an immature vibe from this person. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but, um, I don't even know if they were ready to commit. That's what, that's the word I was looking for with that reading ready to commit. I don't think they're quite ready for that. Um, so, jeez. Oh, and um, if you like the video, feel free to, I guess, like it and subscribe and feel free to let me know your thoughts and um, if everything resonates. You know, if it doesn't, you can feel free to choose another pile. Pile number three, if you chose the cross, let us get started on your reading. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Chariot, and we have the Hangman. Oh my god, so funny. 
We just had the hangman for someone else's. The pile before you guys is pile too. That's wow. <laughs> Things are hanging in the balance here. Okay, so right now we have the ten of wands here. And on this, this deck particularly, we have all the wands on the ground. And this person is just looking at the the mess that kind of lies in front of them. So I kind of feel like that's what they're doing right now in in their lives like they're when it comes to this particular situation like they're looking at them you um what the whatever relationship you sort of had and they're like how did this not work out like i mean what did i do wrong did i just take on too much responsibility did, did i not do enough did i um <laughs> was i too adamant too passionate too excitable was I too I it could be jealous they could be because I'm, I'm saying jealous because of you know fire energy it can be sort of egoistic and uh, a little bit insecure feeling like possessive sometimes um but they, could they be like could we have just not seen eye to eye on things that, that was I caring um putting in too much effort were they putting into the like that they're looking at everything that lies before them and they're just <laughs> kind of tired like they have so many thoughts on the subject of how things w were and how things should have been in their mind um but we have the chariot here in the middle and the fact is the chariot always has two horses right here and with the I, I don't know if on this deck it's like two lines but you know the chariot also has like you know horses lines whatever and so it's just two people having to come together um to really really push hard that's the thing i'm getting with this deck because the fact that we have the ten of wands and the chariot these things are both about putting a lot of effort into something. I have no doubt that you guys will reconcile, so that's a yes for you guys um, right away, but it's just like it's going to be so much effort because when I look at this, it's also kind of like yin and yang, so it's like masculine energy, fem feminine energy, and it's like trying to come to a compromise, a perspective in which you guys can focus and be in a relationship or um, be and be together again. They're, they're definitely coming back, um, and it may be kind of uh, sudden <laughs> because we have the hangman here, so they're going to take their time coming back, but it, it'll seem like it just came out of nowhere. Like, it's just going to really pop up at the most, I'm like, you won't even be thinking about it, and them like that. for Like, you may, have not, you may not be thinking about them for a minute, and then they'll just pop up randomly, and you'll be like, come in with such force and just say, okay, I think we can work this out. I think we can come together. I think there's a way that we can move forward. That's what this person wants to do. <laughs> they're waiting, in their mind, they're waiting for the right time to move forward. And I just want to pull one more card for you guys. Okay, so we have the judgment card here. Which is, kind of lines up to what I was thinking. I was wondering what they were thinking about, and um, that's why I pulled the card. And judgment is about, you know, kind of letting bygones be bygones in a sense, but I don't think this is about them letting go, like them not like letting go. They're wondering if they should let go, but I don't think they will because, I mean, we have the hangman. It's kind of like, oh, I'm still hanging on, and we have the chariot, which is like I'm moving towards this person. So that's what they're thinking about. Um, that's why they're, that's why if you're like, why is it taking them so long to, um, maybe come back to you? And it's because they're wondering if they should just move on. They're wondering if they should just le let the past be in the past and accept their fate and say, you know what, this is how this is supposed to be. But eventually they're going to turn around and say, no, I think we should, I think I should give this another shot. I think I should really try to come together with um with you uh that's what's going on in their head right now um or what will be going on in the next few months is what i'm getting uh yeah i'm getting a few months here possibly 
July, I want to say. But I'm going to hope that's, I think that's right. I'm just getting like July. But, um, yeah, that's the, that's the energy I'm getting for you guys, pile number three. Oh, three. <laughs> Sorry, I can't count. <laughs> um, if this resonates with you, please let me know. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And I love feedback, so please give me feedback and let me know how things work out for you guys. Okay, pile number four. Like, oh my gosh, I'm struggling today. Like, these allergies are driving me crazy. And my nose is always usually stuffed, but like now it's like extra stuffed. Anyway. <laughs> We have um, the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Honestly. I think for you guys, pile number four, I don't, okay, first of all, the answer is no. And I don't think you guys are going to rec reconcile with whoever this person is. But what's going to happen is you're going to end up feeling a deep satisfaction within yourself. Something about where you are in life is exactly, it's just exactly the path you're supposed to be on. It, it's like you're going to start taking better care of yourself, you're going to start pampering yourself, and you're going to find like this renewed passion. You're going to find someone else that you're very, very passionate about because we have the Ace of Wands, which is like a, a new kind of, uh, what's the word? Sexy is the first word that popped in my mind. Sexy opportunity with uh, some other guy or girl. And this person can potentially be someone you're going to either marry, be with long term in a long committed relationship. Um, maybe a long committed friendship. I'm not sure, I mean, what kind of, uh, relationship you guys have, but with that other person, but th this, what I'm getting is you're going to, to enter a new long committed, um, either relationship or friendship based off of, uh, what the cards here are saying. It's just like something about when you find yourself and when you're, when you start focusing on your personal goals and finding solace within yourself you're just going to feel so passionate and renewed and you're going to be so happy over the moon like whenever i get the ten of cups it's just like such a comfortable i'm happy i'm at peace same with the the nine of pentacles it's like okay i was this strong independent woman man whatever and now i'm this person who's going to become um, a family woman, a family man, um, just because you're putting that, that energy out there. You'll be putting, like, such, such a positive vibe out into the universe, and people are going to see your confidence. That's what you're going to gain. You're going to gain a newfound confidence, a newfound self-respect and self-worth, and that's going to attract your new partner, friend, I'm not sure who <laughs> this may be, but you're going to, um, find this to be very beneficial now if this is like some kind of family member then the answer is just like yeah you guys are gonna reconcile but um <laughs> I, I people usually don't ask about family so um if this is it's, if it's anything other situation other than family then um yeah it, you're gonna find someone new so you're not gonna reconcile with whoever you're going who you're thinking about and I just want to pull one more card for you guys I'm pulling one more card for everyone oh my gosh Okay, yeah, we have the two, the two of Pentacles, and so this is about kind of like, in this situation, I'm getting, it's more about like going with the flow. It's kind of being like, all right, well, you know, that didn't work out how I wanted it, but, you know, I can keep it moving. I can keep things fun. I can keep things light. I can have a good time um, with my friends, by myself, doing whatever. So you just gotta, you just gotta do you. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I'm very sorry if... Um, I hope I hope you guys aren't too upset. I don't want to upset anyone, but um, I really do see that you're going to make a new start with someone else. I mean, we have the Ace of Wands, which is about new beginnings, and we have the Ten of Cups, which is about like endings and new beginnings. So I really truly believe that you guys are going to find like this this peace, this peace within your life. 
by spending more time to yourself or spending more time taking care of yourself, taking, um, spending more time focusing on things you want to accomplish in your life. So that's all I have for you, pile number four. If you like this reading, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and also leave suggestions on what kind of readings you would like below. And please feel free to leave feedback and ask questions and etc. I really enjoy interacting with you guys. And thank you. I'll see you next time. Okay, pile number five. If you chose the charm bracelet, then let it be known what your fate shall be. <laughs> Just joking around. All right. So we have the three of cups, the magician, and the fool. Will you guys reconcile? All right. Right off the bat, my initial response would be like, if you want to, but <laughs> um, it's more pointing to no, because what we have here is the three of cups here. So it looks like, I'm going to leave this to get this closer look. I hope this isn't too blurry. So let me do this for you guys. Looks like we have either, I think that's three women and a man in the middle. What does that look like to you guys? Let me get a closer look. It might just be three women. So it looks like your person could possibly be seeing some other people. But let me pull another card for that to clarify. Because I don't want to be throwing them under the bus. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's um, ten of swords here. For them, this is kind of over they are or are no I said it like that they are living in their mind a very fun fulfilling sort of moment like they're for them they had this ten of swords moment like they felt like they've they're that they're coming out of a situation which may not have been the best for them and so right now, I, I truly believe that they're they're seeing other people. I don't think they're seeing like one person seriously. It's just they're kind of just like, I want to experience uh, new people, um, new things. Now, if this is like some kind of friendship and maybe you guys had like an argument or a fight or something, then they're just hanging out with either their other friends or maybe by themselves and just having fun. I don't know, whatever it is. They just feel like they've had like such stress in the past maybe um you guys bickered a lot maybe you guys said some things that you didn't want to say oh my god this for some reason this phrase just came into my head where it's like you hurt me or something but um i think they they that they feel just hurt um by how things ended just because the ten of swords is about endings and right now they're just like i want to spend time with other people because when they're alone their thoughts can get pretty dark um pretty negative a really harsh headspace so they they feel like they've got to get out and um be more social so right now they're not thinking of reconciliation <laughs> but if you actively reach out because we have the magician here and the magician has like this control sort of over the universe and making their own world and own narrative and story. And if you want to reach out to them, there is a possibility that you guys would start over. But I think the tarot universe is telling you that just the universe in general is telling you to move forward and seek other options and 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 don't worry about this person so much. Like it's just saying this person is is not I, I don't know how to put this nicely but this person is not thinking about you like that to be honest they're really not they're thinking um i'm i kind of want this to be i'm glad that there's i don't know if they're saying i'm glad it's done but they're saying it's done and i'm i want to have fun now i want to i want to have more fun or i want to go have more experiences now i want to go accomplish things and the universe is saying for you specifically that you should go out 
and find someone new, find a new passion, find something you want to do, find something you're good at. Maybe find a new person in general to focus your energy on. Someone who will appreciate you for the, the, the person that you are. Because this person can't see it. This person has all these swords, so they, they're just, they, all they feel is the hurt when they think about you. They just feel like the hurt and pain. So they can't fully see the reality of maybe if, they, if they've done something wrong themselves. Okay, I don't know why I just pulled another card, but yeah, this person wants to keep things. Because I got, I pulled out the Pope here, or the Hierophant, whatever you want to call them. And whenever I pull this card out, it's kind of like... People want to keep things platonic. So in his mind, he wants to keep things um, on a very plat... Or he or she wants to keep things on a platonic level. If you guys are already platonic, then I would say that this person is just going to be very stubborn. And they're going to stick to the decision that they already made. Um, and you should definitely, you should definitely 110% move forward with something new. Like, we have the strength card here. So you're going to have to stay strong to really not contact this person and sort of let this person um, be. Kind of just do your best to erase this person from your mind and don't think about them. Don't don't even worry about them. Um, do, sorry, my footage cut off. But do your best to... Find something else to focus on. You're gonna. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. Um, so maybe time to think about them. Um, maybe you guys had such a great connection. Maybe this person made you laugh a lot. Maybe this person, you guys had so much excitement together. Maybe you felt like you were you entered a whole new world with this person. But um, the time is done. I think the relationship, the the universe is saying that this is coming to an end now. Um, so. I believe you have a you just have a bright future ahead of you. I mean, you have the magician card, so you can create your own um, destiny. You can really manifest that. So, uh, if you believe that you can, then you can. You can manifest um, the life that you want. So, although it's saying you can go back, to, you you can go back to this person, but it's it'll be tough. And um, and also, there's just better things out there. There's better better experiences out there better people out there for you so that's all i'm getting for you guys pile number five if you like feel free to subscribe and like and check back in for other readings on my channel and don't forget to leave feedback because i love hearing what everyone thinks and has to say here and um i, I know i forgot to mention this that i am also doing readings now and I'm going to leave the instructions in my description box and maybe I put a little link at the video because um, I forgot to mention this in the beginning. Um, so thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Alright, pal number six. Okay, if you chose the... Alright, let's go. If you chose the hairpin, let us get started. Okay, we have the seven of swords. We have the eight of pentacles. And we have the Seven of Cups. So, my answer is going to be no. And I don't know if this person is just, they they did some shady things and, and kind of just left um, without giving you a, a, a second thought or anything. But it seems like they were, they were being pretty sneaky. Um, they weren't being the, the nicest person. It's okay. Pull out another card. We have the Knight of Wands. And some behavior about the Knight of Wands, I've noticed they can um be kind of a a, a bully sometimes, like because they 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 want to have things their own way and they may be selfish and they don't they don't think about others and sometimes impulsive and say things they don't mean and it or or maybe do mean but they may take back and then it's like they can be hot headed. Um so this looks like this person may have either they had like a little bit of a temper or they were just kind of just self-centered um in their own way only thinking about themselves all the time so this person is only thinking about themselves right now they're not thinking about reconciling and i don't think they they want to um i, I don't know who this person is for you pile number six um but this person really is just doesn't 
like have a, a good vibe to them is what I'm trying to say like this person doesn't seem to have positive intentions so what they're doing is they're focusing mainly on work um, right now and they, they work school um, maybe they're involved in some sort of trade craft or whatever and I pulled another card for that um, it's because I don't know maybe they're going through a hard time maybe this person is like bad with money maybe they're they're going through a financial issues right now so that's probably why they're acting so self-centered and selfish right now or they're not concerned with other people is because they feel like they've got their own issues and the fact that we also have the um five of coins along with the seven of swords it's more like um they they they're leaving you out in the cold they're kind of saying goodbye forever um they they have their own issues they I don't know about forever but they're they're not interested in reconciling with you so I'm gonna say no for this pile that um I don't not I do not believe you guys will reconcile um it, I mean the the eight of coins is tends to be specifically looking at details it's not really like a partnership kind of card um though there is a support from others is, but it's support them and doing their thing. So they're probably looking for other people to help them with their issues. And they're probably more, they will be receptive to other people helping them. But I don't believe that they will return the favor and do the same back. So if you want to reach out and, and yourself and help them with whatever they're, they're going through, working on, whatever financial issues they're having, they will accept it. But I don't know if they'll be quite as grateful for it. Um, um, I, that's, just, that's just the feeling that I get. I don't think that they're emotionally in a right place to understand that everyone goes through their own struggles and strifes. So what the universe wants to say to you is you have many options out here with the seven of cups and you should probably, um, I would say put your energy into else elsewhere. Like, it's see, we have the Five of Cups here under it, so it's kind of saying, like, you may not think, you, you may not think that these options being presented to you are worth it. Like, I mean, people say see it all the time, like, they say there's many fish in the sea, like, I've, I've had people say that to me, like, there's tons of other people out there for you, but when you really like someone, sometimes you can get blinded, and you get caught up, and you kind of feel like, you know, this person's the one, and there may be other fish in the sea, but there's no one like this person, and it's not true, it's not true at all, there's tons of other people that are better than this person, who are just like this person, it, I mean, there's billions and billions of people out there, so you 100% have the other, other options, and you can find someone else to connect with, like, ignore that feeling of just feeling, I mean, maybe not ignore it, but you try to push yourself out of that feeling of being so disappointed with uh, things and not getting what you want. I mean, you still have, you see, we still have the two cups here, maybe three things spill, you're like, fine, whatever, you know what, you can get, you can fill these cups, you can put them back up, and you can do whatever you want with the cups. I mean, just because something's spilled out of it, or something's, just because something's gone doesn't mean something else can't come in and take its place or something else better can't come in is what I'm trying to say. I think the universe wants you to know that you can move forward without this person. That is, this is not the worst. And the fact that we have two fives here, the, I mean, it's just about struggle and stripe and conflict. Fives are about so much stress and, um, uh, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Strife. It's just about just that you have more issues to deal with um, and you gotta push for it so coming together with this person would just be so much stress that you don't need you don't really need this you don't need that in your life that's what it's that's what these cards are saying to me don't bother um, w even wanting to reconcile with whoever this is um, it'll just be a headache it uh, honestly it'll just be a headache I, I mean, I want to see if there's, what's, yeah, because <laughs> we pulled the five of wands. <laughs> yeah, if, if you, if you choose this, so funny, because I was going to say, well, I, I pulled the card to see what would happen if you guys would reconcile, and we got the five of wands, that's crazy, um, yeah, it, it would just be, 
such a pain in the butt. Like this person would be such, oh my God. I, I highly suggest to forget about whoever this is. No, even if they gave you such wonderful moments, even if you had such a great time together, even if, even if you had just this amazing connection, it, it's, it's done. It's don't, it's not meant to be. You need to, you need to move forward and you can move forward because we have no major arcana in this deck. So, I mean, ultimately the choice is yours with what you want to do. I can only um, advise you with the cards and how the, how the messengers are coming to me. I suggest that um, you find uh, someone else to focus your time and energy onto. And um, that is all I'm going to have to say for now, pile number six. And thank you for watching. I really hope this resonates with you and if not feel free to choose another pile and also feel free to like and subscribe I just want to let you know that I am now doing readings details are in the description below if you want to get a reading with me a private reading I forgot to announce that in the beginning of the video so maybe I'll put a little link there but thank you and feel free to come back and check out my other videos that I will be doing in the future Thank you. Goodbye, lovelies. Tile number seven. Who chose number seven? The black bow ring here. Let's see. Will you guys reconcile? Ooh. Two of wands. Knight of cups. And the magician. Okay. So on the after tarot deck, we have this person um, giving, um, I think, the globe to the Two of Wands person. So on the original deck, it's usually someone waiting for like a prophet to come, kind of, kind of, uh, waiting for, um, waiting for something to the right moment to do something or to come to them or to sort of get what they want. Does that make sense? And it's kind of like this person is giving them either a tool or maybe that's something that maybe that's the thing that they were longing for the whole time. They're putting their they're literally putting the whole world in this person's hands. So um, we have another waiting card. So this person right now is just weighing their decisions and they feel like I think they feel like they have all the thoughts that they need. They have everything like they've thought everything through in their head, which is why I mentioned the, the, the original card, which I would have interpreted as being they're still thinking things through, but because this is the after tarot deck, I'm going to use my intuition and say that they they pretty much thought things through already, um, and I think they're going to decide to move forward because of the Knight of Cups going forward to make a offer to you. So I believe they will try to reach out and try to reconcile with you, pile number seven. It seems likely that you two will come back together. Um, and it's really just, if you, if you want to speed things along, you can, because the magician here just, they just kind of have all the power. They're clever. They're smart. They, um, they know what they want. They can be very charming, very alluring. Um, I want to pull one more card. Um, yeah, I think they've just, they've decided, they've already decided what they want. This is the four of coins here. They just know, I don't know what they're waiting for in particularly, but um, maybe it's their pride. Maybe they're just being stubborn at the moment because the four of coins here can be someone who just doesn't want to move from their position, which is probably why we got the two of wands here. That, that waiting patiently card, that being stubborn, that um, sort of, um, that energy that's about, well, maybe they don't want to admit that they're wrong. That's quite possible. But both cards are, what they have in common is they're kind of like at a standstill. But they've already made their decisions. They know they're going to try to reach out to you. I want to pull one more card just because I'm just so curious as to why. Okay, we got the Seven of Swords. Why they're taking their time is because they, they felt they did something wrong. I don't know what they did to you. They, they know they did something wrong. Like the Seven of Swords 
is that kind of shady, deceitful character. So I don't know if they lied to you about something or if they just treated you in a way that was just completely disrespectful. But that's the whole reason they're holding out because they know that they did something wrong and they kind of want to run away from it. They don't want to have to deal with, you know, if they've hurt someone or if, if someone, um, or if they've wronged someone or they're just kind of like a cowardly sort of energy right now. They're just like, I don't want to admit that I did something wrong. I don't want to admit that I, I said that to this person. I don't, I don't want to admit that I, um, I don't know, like called this person a couple of names, like a couple of swear words. Um, or uh, I don't want to admit that, uh, I don't know if they cheated or something. I'm just saying this an example, but like they're, I don't want to admit that I uh, cheated or, um, or I have to go through my punishment. Like they don't, they just want to have their cake and eat it too and then we'll move on. But they're starting to realize that they still do have feelings because the two of wands here, I've seen it in love readings before. It's usually about a person just thinking about like all the passionate time someone spent together with someone and they also kind of feel like, you know, I don't want anyone else to be with you. Um, so they're going to move forward and come up to you, come to you and say, um, I don't know if they're going to say they're wrong because it's like the Knight of Cups. So they'll be like, well, I may have been wrong, but you also did this. You know what I mean? So I think you will reconcile, but they may be kind of like childish about it. They're not going to like ultimately own up to what they did. Um... And I know they did something because we have, I pulled another card. Yeah, another card about defending their position. So like I said, they're just going to, they're going to come back and they're going to defend what they did. And I only did this because you did this. And I only said that because you said this. And they're just going to be like that. But they're, they're coming back. They're, they're just coming. It's just, I don't know if you've been hoping, praying, wishing or manifest, trying to manifest it, um, because you have the magician here, but it looks like it's going to happen, and I want to pull one more card for you guys for the clarify something, yeah, it looks like you're, because of, because you're putting that energy out there, and you want this reconciliation to possibly happen, and you're thinking about it, they're going to try to come back with you, and you're both not going to see like eye to eye on how things went. Like they're going to have their own version of the story or while things um, were going a certain way and you're going to have your own version and you're both going to say, well, that's just wrong. Like you're both going to kind of butt heads on that issue, but ultimately you're going to get back together and um, be together for the time being. And, um, I don't know if this person was traveling or anything. Um, um, they're definitely, I don't believe they're seeing anyone else. Um, looks like they're too busy for that. They just, they got things to do. They're not worried about um, seeing anyone else at the moment. So I don't think it's that. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, yeah, the answer is yes. That's that's all I'm really getting from this reading. Well, all that really needs to be said. Um, ultimately, that's what you came here for. Um, so thank you, pal number seven. If you enjoyed this reading, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, let you guys know that I am doing private readings now. So if you want to do one, um, feel free to read the description, follow the instructions, etc. And I will see you guys next time. Feel free to leave feedback because I love, 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 love feedback. And have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And thank you for watching. Bye.